the Oshawa Knights paperweight team on hand to get this game underway and Brody Beaveridge is going to assist with the opening faceoff before Carly Troop gets this game going with O Canada. The Aurelia Kings, one of the few teams on the seasons to hand the Green Gales a loss. And a minute and a half into this one, Tyler Kahn is going to get them on a board by a score of one to nothing. So will we see a repeat performance of that game from a couple of weeks ago? Uh, the answer is no. The reply from the Green Gales is quick and lethal. Brendan Lundy underhands for Brady Kieran. He beats Dylan O'Rourke to tie it. Jeff Fernandez finds a shooting lane and pops his second of the period. Green Gales up by a score of three to one. Riley Palmer steps in front of a pass, nothing but open floor in front of him. He is stopped by O'Rourke though, that was one of the few things on the night that went well for Aurelia. Connor Van Ryn plays to Jeremy McWaters, back to Van Ryn, and he too will score the Green Gales romping on the scoreboard in the first period. Keep it coming as Johnny LeClaire is set up by Joey Bryant here to make it a 6-1. This is a LeClaire to Bryant rather and he scores. Uh, Fernandez would also add his third of the afternoon before the period was out. It does not get any easier for the Kings in the second. Green Gales on a power play. Lots of touches before McWaters puts a shot through Cameron Murphy in goal now to make it 10-1. But it wasn't all doom and gloom for the visiting goalies as Murphy makes a solid stop from in close. That is followed closely by Tegan Meredith, his goal on the power play as he takes the pass from Matthew Campbell. Next up, some fists are going to fly as Van Ryn gets into it with Michael Greco. Van Ryn looks to be in a heap of trouble in this one early on until the bucket comes off, and that will flip the script on this tilt. Well, Riley Palmer has his pass picked clean here, but Liam Wynn spares him the embarrassment as he's going to make a great stop. In the third period, back-to-back -back special teams goals for Matt Campbell. One with an extra attacker, and then this one shorthanded to make it a more respectable 15-6. It looks like they have another sure one here, but Wynn getting an arm across to make that stop. That was a nice-looking save. Goal scoring on the afternoon finished off by Bryce Tolmey, who's returned to the team, is a pleasant surprise. He'll have no trouble fitting in. The Green Gales take it by a score of 17 to 6. Newcomer Brandon Porga chipped in with a pair of assists upon arriving after applying his trade with his hometown Welland Raiders, pretty much since the day he picked up a stick. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm a hometown kid from there, so definitely mixed emotions leaving. Uh, I've been there for 15 years, and uh, but I'm excited to go on this round now. Um, it's definitely a quicker pace, a lot of uh, transition game, more than uh, back home was more of an OD side. So the pace is definitely something to get adjusted to, but I feel like I'm getting there now. And I think our uh, coaching staff and our managing staff does a good job of bringing in people who fit. And uh, the guys that come in, they want to win, so they'll do whatever it win they want to win. Um, we just didn't want what happened last game, like you said, to happen again. That's, that's what we try to avoid at all costs. So it was nice to see that we could put the pedal to the metal there. and and come back with a few of our own.